Hey, it's Nicolette. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a different kind of video than I've been doing recently. I'm gonna be doing a makeup haul today. I went to places like Sephora and Ulta and I ordered like something online too. One day my mom was getting her nails done and I was like really bored for an hour or two. So I just like went and bought some makeup. But I thought I'd just show you guys because like why not? Why not just do like a little mini makeup haul? First place I went to is Sephora and I messed up the little packaging. Moving on. The first thing I got from Sephora is this little Ole Henriksen Nurture Yourself Skincare Kit. And I really like their face wash. It's the Wonderfeel Double Cleanser. I just really like it because it takes everything like off your face. And then I mainly just bought this because it had the face wash and the moisturizer. And like I just wanted it. I don't really care for the mask just because I don't use face masks. I'm kind of like scared to use a lot of skincare just because like I don't want my skin to react to it badly. Like I, but I am thinking of switching my skincare routine because I was walking on like Beverly Drive and then this guy like pulled me into a shop and he was like telling me like I need all these skincare things and then he like was showing me all these products that were so cool. Like he put this like little cream on me and it just had like these gold beads in it and then he rubbed it on me and it was just like a little cream. It, it wasn't like a rough exfoliator. For now like I just use, all I use on my skin is the cleanser and then I needed a moisturizer. Next I just got this little point thing. It's like uh, caviar like hair care and I just got it because it has a shampoo and conditioner and I just like having like backup shampoos and conditioners because I always run out I'm in the shower and I'm like oh my god I don't have shampoo and conditioner so I could just like pull one out of the drawer you know and then next I got the Too Faced Proactive Nourishing Hangover Primer because I am looking for a new primer currently I use the Smashbox primer just like the clear one and I've been wanting to like try new primers I like the one that I use but like I'm always into trying new things and so I actually bought a lot of primers this day but like I got this one because I want to try it out and yeah and then next I got this little beauty blender because I saw that there was like a limited edition one and this is the like sapphire color it's like a dark blue and it's so cute and I was like I have to get it because I love new beauty blender colors and beauty blenders are so amazing when they're brand new Like I love brand new beauty blenders I should honestly just start using like a new beauty blender every day Like just use it and then like throw it away and get a new one Like I want to get a jar of beauty blenders because they're just so nice when they're brand new and then Yeah, so like I need a jar of beauty blenders like somebody hit me up with jar of beauty blenders um, so now I'm going to show you guys what I got from Ulta and I went into there because what did I go in there for? Oh, yeah, I went in there for shape tape concealer and then I ended up walking out with all these things. And my experience at Ulta was pretty interesting. I don't really go to Ulta often. I usually just go to Sephora, but like I wanted shape tape. So I went there, but um, I was in Ulta. I was just like shopping, you know. And then when I was in Ulta, like I witnessed a robbery. Like these people in like big hoodies came in and they like grabbed some stuff and like ran out and like beat the security guard. And it was like, it was awful. But um, into my stuff at Ulta. <laughs> uh, so... So first I got these two brushes. I saw marble brushes and I was like, I have to get them. Like I love marble so much. I'm thinking of just keeping this brush at my house and then I'm thinking of putting this brush in like Gerald or like I can put in Nikki Coco Gray, you know, my car. And so yeah, I just love the marble. Like it's so cute. And then I got another beauty blender. This one's just like the classic hot pink one. And I just like having a ton of these around because as I said earlier, I like just like using them once and then throwing them out or like, not even just once, like a couple times, but like they're the best when like you use them the first time. So next I got these two brushes from It Cosmetics and let me open this. Um, so this brush is just a powder brush. I could use this for my Laura Mercier translucent powder that I wear every day. You could even use it for blush, but I want to use it for powder. It's just like, it's cute packaging. It's great quality. It's so soft and it's just like a perfect shape. So this is just a foundation brush from It Cosmetics. I have a lot of foundation brushes that look just like this, but I really liked like the feeling of this one and I like how like this is just like really thick so it's just like a cute little brush so this is actually what I went to Ulta for I went to get some shape tape concealer because I was out of my shape tape and I got um light neutral for just like regular concealing and then I got the shade light to put like under my eyes and like here here and then right here for my highlighting or what do you call it like brightening um and yeah so I got some shape tape and I like shape tape. It's actually a really good concealer. You hear everyone rave about it and then you actually try it and you're like, 
it's great. As I said earlier, I've been looking for a new primer, so I decided to try out this Becca one too. It's the First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh, and it's just like, it has a little purple right here, like, yeah, it's cute. Let's open this up. Oh my god, it's purple, it's so cute! One of the employees at Ulta recommended this to me, so I thought I'd try it, and it's like purple and cute, and isn't purple the color that like you use to cover your under eye bags, like, or, no, I don't think so, okay, I don't know. And you guys know I use this primer, so I just decided to go and get another one because in case I didn't like the other primers, I can just keep using this one. I like getting smaller sizes of a lot of products because I feel like they're like better when they're brand new. So like you could just keep buying new ones and yeah. So that's like a tip for you, like just get the travel size of everything as long as it's not like too small. And then I also got another moisturizer. I just got the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I just got this one because, as I said, I'm looking for a new moisturizer. And this was only like $5, so I thought like, you know, if I ever run out of moisturizer again, I could just have this like on hand. And yeah, I just it's just good to always have backup products on hand. Like if you run with a face wash, always have like some backups so you can use. So the next thing I got from Ulta are actually these two Anastasia palettes. I've actually owned both of these in the past, but I lost this glow kit. And then I ran out of one of the shades in this, and then I lost it. But I really like the Anastasia contour, and this is just the contour kit in, like, to medium. And I only use one shade in this, but they don't sell any singles, so every time I want it, I have to buy the whole palette. But I just like this shade that's in the bottom middle right here, and it's just such a good contour shade. And the very last thing that I got from Ulta was the Anastasia Glow Kit, and it's in the shade Sugar. And when you open it, it has four highlights inside. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it on YouTube because a lot of people are using Anastasia Glow Kits. And yeah, they're just like cute little highlight shades. And my favorite color is probably this one just because it's so shimmery and it's just like cute, you know. And I'm excited to use this glow kit. And I also got the Anastasia A23 brush. It's my favorite highlight brush ever. It's so good. If you guys ever see it, like, make sure to get it. It's amazing. So that was all the makeup that I bought in store that day when my mom was getting her nails done. But um, I also ordered this online. And I just thought I'd show you guys just because like I'm doing a makeup haul. Might as well show some more makeup. And I don't have scissors to open this or anything. And I don't want to ruin my nails. So update, I had someone open the box for me. <laughs> But, um, we're just gonna take everything out. So it's all wrapped in this little Tarte wrapping paper. And I've actually been a really big fan of Tarte recently. I used to like their products when I was, like, 10, 11. And then I kind of stopped using them. But now, like, Tarte is back and better than ever. So I've been using a lot of this stuff. So all the Tarte stuff comes in this little wrapping paper. And it's just, like, cute little purple wrapping paper. And we're gonna open it. So the first thing that I got is this little makeup pouch. And I just thought it was cute because it's like pink, you know, I love little makeup pouches. I could just keep this one in my car, Nikki Coco. And why is it smushed? This is new, why is it smushed? It's really cute though, it's like gold inside. But it's just like a cute little like pink and I just love getting new makeup bags. And it has a little keychain right here, it's very cute. Why is it smushed? Next from Tarte, I got two brush kits, and I just got this one for the eyes, and the Tarte brushes have the cutest packaging ever, like, oh my god, it's just so cute. I'm gonna open these right now. It's the Toast the Good Life eye brush set. I like the name, Toast the Good Life, because we love the good life. Toast to the good life, seriously, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, how do I open this? So these are all the brushes, and they're actually really soft. I'm really excited to use these, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how I like them. But the packaging is so cute. Like, the packaging is what drew me to these. It's just a really cute black, and the glitter isn't rubbing anywhere. Like, very nice. And then I did get one more brush kit, and this one is the Pretty Things and Fairy Wings brush set. This one is so cute. Like, I love their brushes so much just because they're so cute. Um... It just comes in this wrapping paper and it just says, I just want pretty things and a pair of wings. So cute! So these are all the brushes and wow, they're actually so cute. So, let me show you. This comes with a, does it say what kind of brushes it comes with? I think it should. Okay, it doesn't say what kind of brushes it comes with. So this is, oh my God, they're really soft. 
and they have little stars oh my god i'm literally gonna go on the tart website after this and order every single brush set that they have because it's so cute so i'll probably end up using this one for bronzer just like to blend bronzer around my face and then this one looks like it's good for under eye concealer just because it's it's an under eye concealer brush and then i don't know if i'd want to use this for translucent powder or if i want to use it for blush but it would be perfect for both and then uh, I feel like this is a highlighting brush. This would be good for highlighting. And then this is just another like little cute eye brush. And it's so cute. Like I cannot get over how cute these brushes are. They're just so cute and they're so soft. I'm so excited to use them all. And next I got some liquid lipsticks from Tarte. This one's in the shade Birthday Suit and I've actually used Birthday Suit in the past. But I decided to buy another one because I used it all. So um, I also got another shade and... This one is Get It, and I've never tried Get It before, but I'm hoping this one's gonna look good on me. And the formula of Tarte liquid lipsticks is amazing, and I'm just so excited to try these both. Well, I've tried this one already, but like I'm so excited to use them. For my fake eyelashes, I usually use Lily lashes, but I'm always into trying new things, so I just decided to get some Tarte lashes. So this one's Little Black Dress, and I got Little Black Dress because like the eyelashes are so thin and minimal. But they're so long, and so I'm really interested to see what they look like on. And then I just got two in Girl Boss because I've heard good things about Girl Boss, and I'm very excited to try them out. And I think these are only like $12 each, so that's amazing for lashes. Like, usually my lashes are $30, so great deal you have here. Let's hope I like them. And to go with eyes, I just got one of their eyelash curlers, and I just got the one that came with a little mini mascara because I don't really use an eyelash curler. Like, I don't use one currently, but like... I saw their eyelash curler and I was like, it's cute, you know, it's like gold and purple. So I decided to try it and I'll keep you guys updated on what it looks like. And then lastly from Tarte, I just got a bunch of their like lipsticks just because I wanted to like try a bunch of new lip shades. And I just got this one in Colada and then I got this in Surf's Up and Bare Mojito. And I just got a bunch of shades and I just thought like I would try some of their lipsticks because I love their liquid lipsticks so why not try it like the actual like lipstick ones so those are all the products that i'm going to show you guys today those are all the things that i bought that day and i really hope you guys enjoy this video let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this and i'm really excited how on fridays i'm going to start posting fun videos like this so you guys get vlogs from me and then you also get videos like this where i'm showing you guys makeup or i'm just doing like fun things make sure to check out my instagram i'm going to link it down below and also leave me a comment telling me some products that you think you should try out and i'm always in interested in trying new makeup and also give me video ideas for these type of videos down below um don't forget i post monday wednesday friday and i can't wait to see you guys next i love you Mwah.